I'm going to talk about Women Who Code. That's a great organization that helps you, um, you know, have a lot of technical discussions and meetups and things like that. So that's one thing. Um, there are places where you can actually be a mentor. That also helps is you can find a mentor and you can be a mentor. Uh, there are things like Everwise, which is, I think, a mentoring platform. There are a couple others that are very good. Um, yeah, as you're talking, I'm also thinking about uh, trying to get a coach for yourself. I found coaches extremely useful. And I know companies have some money that's set aside for coaches. What happens, especially with a coach, what you can do is they can do like a 360 feedback, right? Um, that means they, they talk to your bosses, they talk to your peers, they talk to your direct reports, um, you know, they'll talk to everyone. They can actually sit in meetings and see how you conduct meetings how your interactions with people have been. So I've done this, I've used an executive coach myself. And what I learned was extremely valuable and that actually helps me build a brand at work because you get some very raw feedback on what you're doing really well and what your strengths are and where you need to improve. And this is honest feedback that you will get from an independent third party and not your boss. So one other thing is, what I found <laughs> through research, and this doesn't make me too happy, is a lot of people are afraid to give feedback to women because you know they have this underlying assumption that women are very emotional, and that you know at the drop of a hat they'll start crying, and uh, so they don't give them very constructive feedback. So if you actually get a coach and get your company to pay for it, and work with this coach to help you get very objective, raw feedback that can actually help you get to the next level. I have seen that a lot of that really helps uh, to propel women in their careers. Um, I've done it for myself and you know, some of the feedback was hard for me to take, but it was feedback I needed to listen so I could become a better leader. Um, so I would really encourage women to take, take that. And it should, actually even men, I think it's important um, for us to really know because we always walk around the office thinking we're doing a great job. But the truth is, you know, we're not perfect and we do make mistakes and there are things that we do um, and, and we have to improve on and that's not a bad thing.